Good morning, viewers. What are you doing? We're being ninjas. Of course. Got it. Hey. <laughs> Whoa! morning the big kids are with a babysitter and I'm taking Ms. Laura into the dentist she has a hole like a black spot of a hole on one of her front teeth and we're worried it's a cavity she's only had her teeth for like three months so it's really weird that she would have a cavity there so the dentist is wanting to see does she have cavities elsewhere so I'm really just nervous going in I feel like a really bad mom too like how did I already let this little girl get a cavity but he said that I shouldn't feel guilty about it that it could just be like her genetics and anyway so we're going in, and I don't really know what to expect, but I'm not very excited about it. Hey. Hi. Buttons. Buttons. We're getting in the elevator. Do you want to press the buttons? You never get to press the buttons. There we go. Press that button. Good job, big girl. Oh, this is so fun. Do you see up there? Do you see up there? Say hi, mama. All right, guys. Well, it turns out that she has hypoplastic enamel, which means that when her teeth were developing, it just developed that way. Come here, Laura. Come here. Come on. Uh oh, don't press that button. No, 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 don't press. Laura did really well. She, you know, was nervous about it, but she did open her mouth and let the dentist check her teeth out. Uh. Are you cold? You want to get in the car? Show me your duck. Show me your duck. Uh oh. Pick up your duck. Uh. Uh, I'm grateful to know that it's not causing her pain and that it is fixable in the long run and hopefully all the rest of the teeth that come in don't have that same problem. But if so, there's worse problems in life than hypoplastic enamel. While I have just one child, I'm also running errands. I'm running a return to TJ Maxx. I did my returns, but I found a shirt that I like, so I'll have to try it on for you guys later. But um, we're right next to PetSmart and this girl loves animals, so we're gonna go say hello to the animals. Here's a doggy. What do you say to the doggy? Oh. Kitty cats. <laughs> she loves them. Say hello. Let's go see the birds. I'm an adult and I find this spot completely mesmerizing. Can you say fish? Mm. Good job. Let me out. I want a snack. I want a snack. I want a snack. So Mr. Caleb has had a rough couple of days. He's been very emotional and a little bit more grumpy than usual and I think we found out why. How are you feeling today bud? Sick. Sick. Do you have a fever? Yeah. He does. He has a fever. So we gave him some medicine and some cuddle time and hopefully he'll be back to his normal self soon. Can you tell the camera what part of your body is hurting? Your head is hurting. Any other part? Oh that part of your head too? And your cheeks? That's all. Oh. You want to read a story? Mm-hmm. You want to take a nap? Mm-hmm. Okay. Look at the skull. You know they're sick when they want to take a nap, right? So we're sitting here eating our lunch, and we hope that Caleb's asleep, but you never really know. And he just yells up from his room, I pooed on accident. I just thought that was really funny. I have Same. two thoughts on that. Number one, I'm really grateful he's going to pull up during nap time today. And number two, I'm grateful Jeremy's still home. I have some really pressing business matters to get to immediately. I have to go. Good try. Okay, so after I changed the sickly poo, Caleb insisted that he do a dance for you. A diaper dance! So, Jeremy says it's my turn to put him back to bed. Caleb, can you say overtired? Overtired. What letter does that start with? O. O. Can you say, I am overtired. 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 I am overtired
Caleb and Laura woke up from their naps and I was getting out a snack for them and Isaac and Elise were already at the table with Laura and Caleb was the only one missing and I said, hey Laura, go get Caleb and tell him it's snack time and she put down her snack on the table and she ran around the corner and into the bedroom and she walked right up to Caleb and I'm like tiptoeing behind her watching and she says, snack, snack. Can you say Caleb? Caleb. Yeah, can you say snack? Can you say snack? Oh, there's so many fun things to talk about. Anyway, I think it's so cute how she's learning to follow demands. Like, well, she'll hear us talking about going and she'll run over and get her shoes or I'll tell her, you know, go get a diaper, go get shoes. And she is like listening and she's becoming a human. You're humanizing. What do you think of that? Yeah, there's your shoes. We were just talking about shoes, huh? We just had dinner. Kendra headed off to run some errands, and the kids are all kind of freaking out. What's going on, Isaac? Thunderstorm! Thunderstorm? There was a really loud crack of thunder, huh? We're going to be safe, okay? But what about our, our squirrels and rabbits? They went inside their little trees and holes. They went to all their safe places. If a lightning strikes that spot, then what if the tree falls over? Sometimes that happens, huh? Quarter size tail, it's a line of thunderstorms right now moving into the city. I do not like storms. They make you a little nervous? Makes noise. What does lightning do? It strikes the earth, but you know what? I think we're gonna be safe inside our house, okay? Okay. Through my life, 32 years, I have never got struck by lightning. Never? Never. Never happened to me. So you are not scared? You know what? Lightning scares me a lot, but when I'm inside my house, I'm not scared about it. I'm gonna say a prayer. Okay, that's a great idea. Well, it looks like the storm has passed and we didn't even get struck by lightning. Gubby, can you count for us? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 80, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 52, 53. Do you know what comes after 29, buddy? No. 30. Laura, Laura, can you count to three? Two, three, two, yeah! You gotta do it one, I guess. Yeah.